Hi stamping friends, welcome back. Card number three in the August 2014 online stamp club. By the way, if you're interested in joining our club, please feel free to check out the contact information below the video if you're watching this on YouTube and you can contact me and I'll give you all the information. All right, so this is the next card that we're gonna be making. And in your kit, you will have the very vanilla card base that you will score and fold in half. You'll have a piece of self suede and then you're going to have a piece of very vanilla that will layer on that, but that's where you're gonna be doing your stamping with your hardwood background. You will stamp all your flowers and leaves out ahead of time, like we mentioned on video one, and then run them through the big shot and get them all ready to assemble. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my card together going to put some snail on the back of the soft suede and then layer that there. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing with my very vanilla. Go ahead and layer that. And you, I'm telling you, once you cut everything out and have it ready, these cards just go together really quickly. So how fun would it be to have all your card pieces in little packets and take with you while you're sitting at the doctor's office or waiting for uh, the kids to get out of school in the car line? Or if you're going on some kind of uh, craft retreat, then you would have all your pieces together and then off you go. All right, so I'm going to be stamping using the Mossy Meadow, and I'm using Thanks very, 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 very much. And if you recall, in the previous video, I'm inking this up upside down, okay? And I do see that I pressed a little hard, so see how I have some excess ink? I don't like that. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that off because I don't wanna mess up my card using my handy dandy stamp and scrub again. Um, so now I'm gonna do this a little bit better, lighter, gently. That pad is juicy, juicy. Some of my pads are juicier than others. Okay, so you have the very vanilla that is in your card kit, um, the half sheet that I told you about. You'll have plenty of room to cut a piece. And this one I believe is about one and a half by four, I think I did. And so I'm going to be stamping straight down, then lift straight up, much nicer, because see how my stamp didn't have a bunch of excess ink on it? So my stamped image is nice and clean. All right. So now what I wanna do is I wanna give this a little fan tail, if you would. And depending on how long you want it, I'm gonna leave this one fairly long. I'm just gonna cut up the middle with some snips. If you don't have snips, it's really hard to do because you're really gonna come in from the corner and get really close on that, okay? And then come in from the other corner, aim towards that cut, and there you go. Have your little fan tail there if you would. All right, so now I'm going to attach this and when I do, I notice that my paper is a little bit long, longer than what I want it. So I'm going to get out the Stampin' Trimmer. Another tool that Stampin' Up! has. Love this thing. I love the wide base that it has. It has an arm that extends. Um, the tip at the end, I mean, it will lock into place. So if you're transporting it, you just you don't have to worry about your blades falling out. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this right here on this side. Very easy. And so now it should fit on my card a little bit better. There we go. I like that better. Okay. I'm not going to add dimensionals to this. I'm just going to put some snail on the back. I want this piece to be nice and flat and line it up right there. Okay, so now I'm ready to add all my flowers. And I want to know if you can tell that my flowers have a little bit of a curl to them. Let me show you what I did. Just to give this some more dimension, I took my bone folder, went down, went up, went down, went up, and up. So now I have this fun piece that's going to really give my card some pop. 
All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to lay this one here. I have dimensionals on the back of my pieces. And just kind of put your piece, your flowers, just kind of group them together like this. All right, and then we have our centers that we've already stamped and cut out. Remove that backing. Put my center there. This is such a cute card. I love these colors and how fun for the upcoming fall season would this be to use because these colors really do scream fall to me. All right, remove the backing and that one. So now we have our leaves and I like to do the leaves last. It's up to you how you want to do yours, but I like to just go ahead and remove the dimensional backing and then, yeah, that looks pretty cute. Tucked right there. Here's another one. And then I want two over here. Let me get another one. I hope these videos help you while you're doing your projects because um, I try to share some tips and tricks with you to make it easier. But if you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. That's what, that's what I'm here for. All right, so we're gonna do two over here. One more, whoops, and there we go. Okay, there is our fun, kind of a 3D effect card. All right, I will see you on card number four, so come back.